What's up, YouTube? This is Dave Medic One, and uh, I'm going to do something different today. Uh, I just got a knife in the mail, uh, one I've been looking at for quite a while, uh, one I really like, um, and been kind of putting it off. Uh, you know, I put it off probably uh, to per uh, two other times before in the past, and I finally ended up getting it, and I'm really happy that I did. And um, it probably won't be a surprise to most y'all that uh, it is a it's a boker. It's, um, I got it today. It took about uh, about two days, three days shipping. They were kind of local, uh, not really local, but only a couple a uh, couple states away. So anyway, let me go ahead and show you what I got. Dun, 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 dun. Get rid of the box. It is a Boker Nopal. Um, I don't know if you guys are too familiar with this. Uh, it's uh, it's a knife that was uh, that was a, I guess a collaboration with a designer by the name of Newton Martin. And Nopal, I guess, is a uh, a it's supposed to be modeled after like a cactus leaf fit in the closed position. There, um, that's pretty cool. Uh, I like I dig the shape as far as that goes. Uh, uh, cactus leaf. Uh, I guess I can kind of see it, but anyway, uh, just to go over a couple things on it, um, uh, let me see here. What, what I'm going to do before I get started is uh, this knife kind of fits in the same kind of uh, in a group, kind of like a uh, like your small task type of, uh, of of knife, possibly EDC, depending on what you do. Um, but there's another knife that I recently reviewed, and it falls in the same category, and I think it would be a good comparison uh, uh, for uh, for this knife also. Um, so I'm going to go kind of back and forth between the uh, just uh, uh, the uh, what you would call it, the characteristics of each knife and whatnot. So what I'm going to do is the knife that I'm going to compare it to is. The Cold Steel Mini Tough Light. Um, and the reason being is this: these knives are kind of, uh, they're on the smaller side. They're ideal for doing you know, small tasks like um, opening up uh, packages and whatnot. Maybe some, some probably light to middle, uh, probably middle kind of tasks or whatnot, not really heavy duty tasks, but uh, I mean it'll get some stuff done, you can, you can push them both. Uh, so anyway, first off, uh, we've got the Boker, uh, the blade length on the Boker is 2.8, or 2 and an eighth inch, the blade length on the Cold Steel Mini, they say here it's 2 inches, it's probably right from here, but the actual cutting surface I do remember is an inch, where the cutting surface on the Boker is uh, is 2 inches. Uh, the handles, um, the Cold Steel Mini Tough Light, it's 3 inches and it's made out of the grivery material, which is kind of like a composite plastic, really super hard, durable. Um, it's uh, it's pre it's pretty nice. Um, the the bulk or the handles three and three eighths inches, and it's G10. Um, as far as the thickness on the blades, uh, the blade thickness here is on the mini tough light is 2.5 millimeters. On the Boker, it is four millimeters. So you got a little bit more girth with the with the Boker. Uh, on the weight, mini tough light, 1.7 ounces, very light. Won't even feel it in your pocket. Uh, the weight of the Boker is uh, is three ounces. Uh, it's almost almost double uh, double the weight there. Um, the steel uh, mini tough light. It's OS eight A, and on the Boker is four forty C. Um, as far as uh, pocket clip carry, this was tipped down, and it's only there's no interchangeable. It's just one. It it's only uh, tip down only. And on the Boker's tip up, uh, I kind of with I couldn't really figure out um, what I want to do is I'm if you guys know me you know I'm kind of partial to Boker so I wanted to kind of make this like a uh, as unbiased as possible so what I did is I kind of made like a 
like a little scorecard type of deal and I put it into categories and kind of scored them uh, individually. Um, the categories were like the blade steel, blade capabilities, uh, the fit and finish, ergonomics of the blades or the, the knife itself, the speed of deployment, uh, strength and longevity, coolness factor, and the price and value. Um, just things that I kind of look for when I look into knives. Now, blade steel. Tell you the truth, I've only um, I'm really only familiar. I'm more familiar with the 440 the 440C than I am the OS 8. Uh, I do know I I have heard that they're comparable to each other, but to tell you the truth, I do not know enough to say that one steel is better than the other. God forbid I say something like that and I get lit up all over on my video saying you don't know this and I don't know that. So I'm just being straight up. Um, I don't know enough about the OS 8 to go ahead and make a scoring either way so I just kind of left that blank as far as blade capability I went to get went ahead and gave it to the mini tough flight um, I didn't go over this with the boker but the mini, uh, the mini tough, uh, tough flight's got a high um, uh, it's got a uh, high hollow ground the boker is a uh, chisel ground it is chisel ground so uh, as far as capabilities go, you'll have more capabilities with the high, high hollow ground where you'll have uh, limitations, not much. But if you were to go ahead and, and go ahead and and, and uh, really think about it, uh, I believe the mini tough light would be more capable. Um, as far as fit and finish goes, um, fit and finish. This knife was it was excellent. Uh, I mean, you really couldn't uh, you really couldn't uh, you know have nothing bad to say about it at all. It was really nice. I liked it. Um, but the boker, um, the boker there, the fit and finish on this, the blade centering was pretty much right on. No blade play up and down, just like that one. And, um, the G10, the G10 pretty much kind of makes a fit what, what I thought the boker pretty much won over. The, uh, this grivery, I don't. I like it because how durable it is, but to tell you the truth, I mean, G10 to me, it's a personal thing. I, I like G10 more than this or the FRNs and all this other stuff. I'd much, I'd go G10 all day. So I kind of gave that to the Boker. Um, on ergonomics, ergonomics, they both have some figure troll going here, jimping. Uh, the cool thing about this is both of these guys share that same characteristic with the jimping. Um, the cold steel only has it to the, to the back lock there, and the boker has it running all the way to the very, very back, um, but to tell you the truth, when you choke down on this guy, on the mini tough light, four fingers all the way down here, and it's way comfy. On the boker, I got three fingers, no way you're choking down up here, you get into the blade, it's not happening. You can do three fingers and move it front, so as far as leaning on something you can, but without that fourth finger here, you just don't have as much control as you do over the gold, cold steel. So I went ahead and gave that to the cold steel, uh, the mini tough light. Um, as far as speed of deployment, uh, hands down the boker. Um, let me show you something with the cold steel. Um, the lock system on this guy is part of the reason why the speed of deployment uh, is given to the boker just because this guy I mean it's not you're not flicking this knife open it's not happening oh well, I guess it is but not as fast well maybe it's just a lot easier with the bo with the boker um, definitely. Uh, you got when you close this mini tough light you can do it single one handed but you uh, I would recommend you being very careful. Watch me cut myself in the video. That would be so ha awesome. But you you could cut yourself. So, um, Boker, speed deployment, all day. Now I will say something. The liner lock on the Boker, uh, access to it is a little tough. Um, the scales are equal on both sides there's no tapering on this uh, on this side of the scale to allow ease of disengaging the liner lock so you have to go up and in but once you get familiar with the knife you know it's not really a big deal just down and in and over and you're in there um, but it was a pain in the butt
to get used to it at first. So that's one thing I would like to see. Um, yeah, I mean, you could easily uh, go ahead and shave that back, um, but out the box now, you just, you know. But speed of deployment goes to the boker uh, for sure. Although right now I'm just not really making it as speedy as I was I was flicking it earlier. This this guy's brand new and not nearly as broken in as a mini tough flight and it's still faster. So I I gave it to the boker. Um, strength and longevity. The mini tough flight. Um, this backlock system. If you've ever looked into the mini tough flight or any of the um, or a lot of the cold steel brands. You'll see that picture where they've got this guy locked up in a vise and they've got a carabiner on the back side of this loaded up with weight and they're just 45 plus pounds of weight on the lock and it's not budging. Um, I dare not put this, <laughs> put 45 pounds hanging off the back of this boker. Uh, I think the liner lock would just bend right in and whatnot. It may it may or may not, but I guarantee you if, if it held up, the mini tough flight after doing that testing would probably fare a lot better or work a lot better than the boker so i went ahead and gave it to the um to the mini tough flight as far as strength and longevity uh you know i gave it to the uh to the mini tough flight now coolness factor the coolness factor mini tough flight is really cool uh, it's comfy all that good stuff you look at it it's a pretty cool knife um the boker though i had to give it to the boker i mean it looks like something off Batman's activity belt. I mean, it's awesome. Uh, the jimping is really pronounced here, and it follows all the way from, you know, about three-quarters of an inch on the blade all the way to the back through the spine. Um, the finger uh, the finger cutout's pretty cool. G10, um, you know, you're looking at this on your spine, and you're looking at this on the, on the cold steel. Um, you know, I really wish if they would have made this in a G10 or maybe had it where this had, uh, some kind of, uh, you know, like, uh, back spaces where it's kind of opened. Uh, I mean, you know, it would be awesome, but I, I have to give the coolness to the Boker. I'm sorry. Some of you guys may disagree, uh, but I, I definitely, uh, give it to the Boker. It's a lot cooler looking to me. I mean, but then again, that's one of those things where it's personal, um, you know, personal opinion there. Um, so... Anyway, so as far as it goes, now the last category would be price and value of it. Um, the Nopal, the Boker Plus Nopal, um, you can find it for as cheap as about 20, a little over 27, 27.50 um, shipped. If you dig and look, I found it that, but I I found it, but I had to dig and search, and I uh, I found an eBay seller that was selling it for that much, and I was able to get it. Now the Mini Tough Light. 23 bucks shipped it's a cheaper it's cheaper and it's not a cheaper knife or anything like that it's just it, it's cheaper um you're probably with the boker you're probably playing for the fact that you do have a name behind it newton martin which kind of adds to the why i picked the coolness factor on that also um you have a designer's name on there on the back of the blade you have the maker's mark right there um and uh with the mini tough light it's just a cold it's just a cold steel brand on there um another thing i wanted to notice and i probably wouldn't have noticed it myself unless i saw the review on this no pal on somebody else's channel which would be um the, 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 the cutlery lover he did a, a review on it and um cold steel taiwan on the blade this boker is actually made in china but you don't really see china anywhere printed on there Except right here at the very bottom of the blade, very small, and I told, I tell you, I wouldn't have noticed it unless, like I said, I watched Cutlery Lover's um, uh, review on it, and he noted it there. So, but anyway, I'd have to give you, I'd have to give the price and value to the Mini Tough Light, um, but it, it was close. I mean, I scored it three, to, uh, three to three, and then the price kind of put it over into the Mini Tough Light side um, there. Um, now there was cat one category I wasn't able to really judge you know fairly and it was because of the blade steel and like i said i'm not familiar enough with the uh japanese os 8 uh to go ahead and and make a os 8a excuse me uh stainless to go ahead and make a, a decision either way on that and i wanted to be fair as far as that goes um a couple other things i do want to say i know this is getting a long video 15 minutes here um as far as customization after you get it if you wanted to pimp it you could pimp this 
Boker, no problem. On the Mini Tough Light, you could probably pimp the Mini Tough Light, but damn, dude, you would have to be really creative. I mean, you'd have to have extra materials or whatnot because this is all, um, I don't see any kind of a seam or anything in this knife. It's just like it's hollowed out and it's all the guts are in there. Um, so you would have to do some rigging to that. I would, I'm not a, I couldn't tell you how to do that. Uh, maybe Tough Thumbs may have a clue on how you would do that. I don't even think he's ever pimped a, pimped a mini Tough Light. I think that'd be cool as hell. Now, if you pimped a mini Tough Light, this may send it way over to way over um, uh, as far as coolness factor than uh, the No Paul. But you never know. I mean, it all depends on what you go as far as that goes. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty much my little overlook on the Boker Nepal right here. I kind of wanted to do it this way because when I picked it up and I opened it up from the box, I had an idea what it was about. Um, but I didn't know that it would be so close as far as the tasks that that you would use the knives. It would be so close to the Mini Tough Flight, so I thought it would be pretty cool to kind of put these two together as far as a comparison to there. Um, so anyway, there you go. There's my two cents on these guys. Um, they're both great knives. Um, you know, if... I would definitely, um, as far as the Mini Tough Light, and let me say something really quick. This Mini Tough Light, it's twenty three bucks. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's less expensive than that. But if you go ahead and pick up the Mini, the regular, uh, the regular Tough Light, the Tough regular Tough Light's gonna shoot you into twenty nine bucks, and the Tough Light is actually two inch blade. So maybe that would be a better comparison to this. It would be a little bit bigger, um, a little bit bigger, but it would be right on as far as it's closer to the specs of the Nopal. So maybe that would be better. Um, but then again, I think that right there would end up scoring them. Um, uh, you know, the one thing that would that on my scorecard that made this one beat out that one is pr pretty much the price and value of it. Um, so I don't know. I'd have to actually have a tough light in my hands to see it because I, that's one of the knives I've been wanting to get um, to replace this mini tough light is the, the larger one. So, but anyway, that's my video on the Boker Nopal. Uh, I will be posting uh, a couple more videos here towards later the week. I'm waiting for some packages to come in, a couple more reviews and whatnot. So, uh, you guys stay tuned. Um, have any comments? So uh, you can post them below. Um, any questions, whatever, PM me, whatever. Uh, thank you for watching. You have a good evening. Peace.